See, they be moaning about the hard times, don't want to do the work. But the work is where the hard times meet the good that goes berserk. And while you're stressing out and being all depressing, I'll be learning lessons, writing, working hard, and fighting every chance I'm getting. China in the penalty. Netherlands don't have any fouls to give, though. Special delivery! He hit it from UC Applied to win it! Two-piece killer! Van Eyck. I like to I like to put on the show a little bit. Just that's just how I am. I like to to make the crowd get into it because once you feel the crowd get into it, it, it motivates you more. Like you can you can play the game of basketball, but if you got people behind you cheering and supporting you, that just it just gets you more motivated. Nice alley you for Van Deep. I come from a small town called Boskoop in, uh, in a little bit of the south of the Netherlands. It's a small town, people know each other. Um, so I always had time, since I'm not in a big city, I always had time to develop my game on a small court over there where I spent countless of hours just shooting. Uh, my dad has been a professional basketball player um, for years back home, uh, played ball in different, several countries. Uh, my mom has been a professional supporter of, of basketball. <laughs> My grandpa, he's like the, one of the best basketball players um, my, the country, Suriname, has ever seen. Uh, he's a big influence for me, a, a big model for me. Uh, he passed away, and I, I've, I always try to make him proud. And uh, if I can make it to the Olympics just like him, that's, that's, that's a major goal for me. Nice backdoor feed and the monster mash from Van Eyck. Back in 2015, um, the team, uh, it was just a friendly competition and I kind of fell in love with it since the first tournament. I liked the pace, I liked the game itself. And after that, I just started doing it every summer. I follow the, the World Tour a lot. I mean, it's, it's high quality, three extra basketball. Teams like Novi Sad, Limon, uh, Team Amsterdam, of course. Uh, we practice against those guys, so I kind of get the feeling of, of the World Tour a little bit. But it's really high-class basketball, and we're just trying to make our game to it so that when the time is there, we're ready to match up with those guys. Team Amsterdam has, uh, has really been a, been a, um, a set in stone for, for Dutch basketball. They really put Dutch basketball on the map, and they're great guys off the court as well. Like We practice against them, like I said, and as soon as we get done with games, they give us tips on how to work on that and how to do that better. Uh, these guys have enormous experience, guys like Jesper, guys like Schuert, Aron, but also guys like our coach right now, Bus. Um, they've been to all across the globe to play 3x3, they played for a national team. Guys like Di Mayo, guys like Joey Schelvis, they, th those guys really help us develop our game more, just to put Dutch basketball more on the map. Oh, Dusan, game point. Oh, he brings out the sham. Oh, you, you can't do that. You cannot do that to another grown man. That is unfair. Dusan Bulut pulled one of the craziest 3 extreme moves ever done when he did a sham got between a Spanish defender leg to finish the game. And you see me in the, down in the corner of the video and eventually the camera turned on me because I was just, I was flabbergasted by the move he, he pulled off. And um, yeah, I've, uh, I, I still see that video every now and then pop up. Dusan Bulut is, uh, even though we don't have the same playing style, he's a, he's a, he's a big influence because just the way he, he puts on his show, like I said, he gets the crowd behind him. He's a fan favorite and that motivates him more, I can see it. And uh, he's, he's flashy, he's, he has a nice game. And uh, I think that really he, he put 3x3 a little bit extra more on the map just because the way he, he performs highlights and he, he makes the game. I, I like to represent 3x3 a lot. Uh, I like it. Uh, I think it's an upcoming game. We're going to the Olympics next year. Hopefully I can be a part of that. Like, it's, uh, 3x3 is really rising up and I'm, I'm proud and I'm happy to be a part of that.